Hello guys, welcome to episode 3 of How I Build My Pedals. Um, in this episode, we're going to look at testing the circuit that we made. So at the end of the last video, um, we built the Mr. Black Boost Tiger, and it looked something like this when we were done. So um, we need to test it, make sure it works before we put it in an enclosure. Now, uh, you need a testing rig to do that. And this is mine. I used to go to a website called Beavis Audio Research, and uh, it was a great resource for somebody just starting out. And this was one of the projects, and it's called the Beavis Audio Breakout Box. Now, the website has been down for a couple years now, I think. or Well, it was dormant for a while, and then it was down. Um, I think it's going to be coming back up. Um, if you go to the website now, there's messages saying it'll be back soon. But um, I don't think you can find this schematic on that site right now. So I'm going to link in the description of the, um, the schematic for building this. And um, it's actually a fairly simple picture. Um, it doesn't exactly tell you everything that you need, but if you look at this... Um, you should be able to see everything that you're going to need to build it. Um, basically, all it is is it gives you an in and an out. So your guitar goes in here, this goes out to your amp, and you have all these terminal strips on the side, and they're labeled. This top one is your ground, this is where you connect the uh, voltage of your circuit, and this is the uh, in wire and the out wire and you have the option of hooking up a simple uh, single pole switch and there's two terminals for that if you choose to use it that's what this is here for so <clears throat> basically what happens is you tie in all the wires to your circuit in their proper spots you hook up your guitar and amp to this pedal and when the pedal is off the signal will go straight from your guitar to the amp when you click it on, the voltage will run through your circuit and then come out to your amp. And what you have <coughs> also here is a voltage sag. And mine is wired in reverse and I just haven't bothered to fix it. So when it's all the way counterclockwise, um, that's full voltage and it gives you 9 volts plugged in up here. And as you roll it back, you get less voltage as you roll it up rather on mine so up here you'll get minimum to no voltage so it's kind of cool way to test um, how fuzz pedals react to different voltages and so forth but basically that's the testing rig in a nutshell so I'm going to hook up the wires to this testing rig and then I'll hook it up to the amp and we'll test it and see if it works Okay, so as you can see, we have all the proper wires hooked up to their spots. So ground to that spot, 9 volts there, and the in and outs. So being a simple circuit, the only thing we really have to test is this volume control here. On more complicated circuits, you might have more pots to check, or uh, switches, or whatever. But the main point to take away from this is, when you have this hooked up, test everything. Make sure every control works, make sure every switch works. And if it doesn't, then you'll be able to isolate what doesn't work if it's just one thing, or if the whole thing doesn't work, then you can go back and check all your your soldering and, and make sure you have everything in the right place, that kind of thing. So, as I said, um, without this uh, box on, we just get the dry signal. <laughs> see what happens when we switch it on. And just a note, I have this pot um, all the way back right now, so there shouldn't be any volume jump, or if there is, it should be very little, because right now we're at the minimum of the sweep. So let's try this again. Okay. 
seems to be a slight increase in bass so let me just roll this up as I strum <laughs> Yeah, the uh, boost works, and it seems to roll up bass frequencies as you increase the volume. It's actually rattling a little piece of uh, of uh, ceramic out in a, in a different room. That's how much bass is rolled up. But yeah, it's a really cool sounding boost and uh, seems really powerful as well. You get unity gain at minimum, which some boosts uh, give you unity maybe a quarter of the way up or something and then they cut as you roll back further than that. This one is unity at minimum. So everything is boost. So that's really cool. So yeah. Um, now that we've got this tested and we know that it works, um, we'll be able to put it in an enclosure. And I think I'll leave that for next video because that is uh, pretty time consuming for me. But uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do next time. So uh, thanks as always for watching guys. Um, and I will see you next time. Take it easy.